Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. If you're a United States citizen living in the 50 states, D.C., or the CNMI, you're entitled to Supplemental Security Income, or SSI, disability benefits. However, the same law does not apply if you move to the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, or Guam. A recent ruling from the U.S. District Court of Puerto Rico says the law violates the Fifth Amendment in the U.S. Constitution. The case involves Jose Luis Vallejo Madero, who lived in New York from 1985 until 2013 when he moved to Puerto Rico. He continued to receive SSI payments until 2016. A year later, a civil action case was filed by Social Security, asking him to pay back the $28,000 in SSI benefits. Judge Gustavo Gelpi, who made a visit to Guam last year, writes that the territorial clause that allows the feds to enact rules and regulations in the territories is, quote, not a blank check for the feds to, quote, dictate when and where the Constitution applies to its citizens. Though Guam and Puerto Rico lie in separate jurisdictions, Attorney Jacob says the ruling can help his client, Katrina Schaller, here on Guam. The United States and the Social Security Administration are imposing incredibly harsh and discriminatory rules um, on uh, my clients, the, uh, uh, Katrina. Uh, and her sister. There's no reason why they should be denied these important benefits, um, period. And the Puerto Rico federal court um, uh, decision today really uh, supports that. Uh, so it is very helpful uh, to the people of Guam. Katrina is a Guam resident who suffers from myotonic dystrophy. As reported, she's filed a suit against the U.S. Social Security, who denies her the same SSI benefits as her twin, Leslie. Though the fight is far from over, Jacob is confident that the case in Puerto Rico sets an example. For Katrina and Leslie, it's very good news um, in that there is a United States judge, albeit in Puerto Rico, that... Um, um, believes in what they're doing. Meantime, Guam Congressman Michael Sinicolis is pushing forward with a bill to get U.S. citizens living in the territory equal access to the Supplemental Security Program. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Carmen Victoria Turlocky. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.